All yes, right. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Chair. Just very briefly, I won't take uh, too long. Uh, just a few questions to the Secretary. Secretary, uh, you had a presentation earlier with regard to SAC, the second time stone, which was uh, administered, implemented by the DSWD. Uh, we've received reports that uh, not all the beneficiaries have received their second SAP. Uh, and in your presentation, uh, is it correct that we should have given the second SAP amount to roughly 18 million families? Is that correct? Madam Chair. Yes, Secretary uh, Bautista, please. Uh, Yes, Madam Chair, uh, this was reduced to from 18 million down to more or less uh, four, 14 million, Madam Chair, family beneficiaries. Yes. Why is that, Secretary, when Bayanihan one appropriated two tranches for 18 million families? Madam Chair, can, can I ask for... Uh, the question, uh, I was not able to get it, uh, Madam Chair. Yeah. Of, uh, yeah, thank you, Secretary. Let me repeat. The budget allocated in Bayanihan 1 was for two tranches of SAP for 18 million families. Now, uh, you mentioned that the second SAP, you reduced the number of families to 14 million. Is that correct? Uh, yes, Madam Chair. Uh, Honorable Senator, with your permission, may Yusek Pamonag be recognized to uh, give the details on this, uh, Madam Chair, Honorable Senator? Yes, please. Yes, Yusek, please proceed. Yes, Madam Chair. Uh, thank you. Uh, Honorable Senator, please proceed. Yes, Madam Chair. Uh, thank you very much. We would have wanted to give the uh, full 18 million during the second tranche. However, uh, the LGUs have just submitted uh, uh, some uh, 14 million, you know? and I would like to mention that uh, out of the 8.5 wait, 8.5 million waitlisted, which they are supposed to submit, they have just submitted uh, 5.1 million beneficiaries. So, the difference point is about uh, 3 million, and that was the reason why it was reduced from uh, 18 million to 14.3 million uh, uh, beneficiaries, Madam Chair. Yes, Secretary, isn't it correct that SAP 1, we were able to provide SAP assistance for 18 million families? Uh, Madam Chair, for uh, SAP 1, we provided uh, or uh, it benefited uh, 17 point, uh, uh, just uh, seventeen point. Uh, yes, I have here seventeen point nine families were targeted initially. Okay. Yes, uh, yes and I was just rounding it off to eighteen million, but the that's law correct. The yes. law provides 18 million. Now, having said that, how much did we spend in SAP 1, Secretary or USEC? For uh, SAP 1, we have spent, we have disbursed uh, 99.9 billion. Okay. So, Okay, and that was for roughly 18 million families or 17.9 million families. And how long did it take government to distribute SAP 1? It took us uh, about three months to distribute the uh, social amelioration program to uh, 17.9 million families. Uh. Okay, three months working together with the LGU. Is that correct? And when did we get these funds? Wasn't that provided uh, April and May? Yes, uh, sometime uh, April, May, and uh, early part of uh, June. Okay, but roughly 90, 95% was done on May. So within 60 days, more or less, 90% was done, no? Okay, now having said that, 
Uh, with regard to SAP 2, uh, I would assume that the budget would roughly be also another 100 billion. Is that correct? 96. For uh, SAP 2, the budget is uh, around uh, 94.5 billion pesos. Okay. Why is it less than the 99.9 million? Eh, pareho lang naman yung beneficiaries na apat ang bibigyan. Is that correct? It's because of uh, our physical target for uh, the uh, second tranche of social amelioration program where uh, it went down to 14.3 million beneficiaries. Okay. Uh, so in effect, okay, so and, and how much did you spend? How much was disbursed for the second sum? At uh, present, we have uh, a total amount of uh, 83.1 billion pesos disbursed benefiting uh, 13.9 uh, families or equivalent to 97.2 percent as of uh, yesterday i'm chair okay i, do, I don't know if it's 97 percent but uh 14 out of 18 million uh is a shortfall of 4 million based on the law and based on the appropriations Okay, so meron 4 million na katanggap isang SAP lang. May 4 million families, ha? We're talking about in effect. <laughs> and you know, the SAP 2 is even more important. Dahil yung SAP 1, wala na ng trabaho. SAP 2, continuing din yung walang trabaho yung mga yan. At lumaki pa yung unemployment, di ba? And poverty incidence is on the rise, I suppose, no? And... Uh, so having said that, where is the remaining budget for the 4 million families today? The uh, remaining budget is still at uh, the DSWD, and uh, we intend to uh, use it for uh, uh, livelihood assistance uh, grant, which is, the, which is on the recovery phase of uh, our program. Good assistance, but wouldn't that be against the law if the law provides under Bayanihan 1 is to provide SAP, it is clearly written in the law, for 18 million families. So, magkano yung natitira? Hindi ho ba roughly about 12 billion, mahigit? How much money is left at the DSWD? Yeah. Madam Chair, Honorable Senator, may we nine billion. Uh, Director Takorda be recognized to answer the your clarification, Madam Chair, Honorable Senator. Yes, please. Madam Chair, Honorable Senator Lazarus, if I may just digress to your earlier point, uh, we the DSWD would have wanted to cater to the same. Yes, we, we're not able to understand very well. Pwedeng, pwedeng, uh, yes. lapitan mo na lang yung mic, kung mare. Yes, sorry. Uh, Madam Chair, uh, Honorable Senator Ralph Recto, uh, if I may just digress to the earlier point raised by Senator Recto, uh, in as much as the department would have wanted to uh, serve the same 18 million, uh, catered in the first tranche of the Bayanihan one. Uh, we were uh, tasked by the Office of the President and uh, pursuant to the collegial decision of the member agencies of the IATF EID that uh, we serve uh, only about uh, 12 to 14 million of the first tranche and then serve, uh, Madam Chair, the uh, waitlisted group identified uh, uh, Madam Chair by the President that uh, also needs uh, assistance due to the health and uh, security protocols or and restrictions placed uh, due to the COVID. Uh, do you have these instructions in writing? Sorry. Um, yes, do you have these instructions in writing so that we can see what they uh, contain? Mad Madam Chair, there was this memorandum dated 22 May 2020 issued by the Office of the President, and we interpreted, uh, the IATF EID, rather, Madam Chair, interpreted that in relation to uh, Executive Order 112 or 114, 
if I am not mistaken, Madam Chair, specifying which areas uh, were placed uh, still under mod uh, enhanced uh, community quarantine and modified enhanced community quarantine sometime uh, early uh, May uh, 2020 to late uh, to the to late of that same month. So only those areas specified uh, in that uh, memorandum, uh, Madam Chair, were uh, given the so, uh, social amelioration emergency subsidy. And uh, pursuant to the clamor of uh, some of the LGUs like uh, Cavite Province that uh, the, their additional beneficiaries, uh, Madam Chair, be also served, uh, some of those are belonging to the informal sector and not uh, originally target of uh, the DSWD under the SAP-1. So the Office of the President was uh, prompted to consider their pleas and uh, as such, uh, IATF EID was tasked to consider these additional beneficiaries. Hence, uh, we, the DSWD followed the modifications uh, introduced by the IATF EID as a collegial body and approved by the, sec uh, by the President that uh, waitlisted beneficiaries be paid. So to answer, categorically answer the question, Madam Chair of uh, Senator Recto, uh, that uh, 4 million that uh, was not met in the second tranche um, was uh, because of uh, these instructions from the Office of the President and took over the waitlisted beneficiaries, uh, Madam Chair, who also suffered because of the yeah, COVID let, yeah. let me try to understand the statement so, and the explanation of the DSWD. Uh, first, the first sub-18 million, isn't it that the reason why we gave them assistance is because their incomes are way below the minimum wage or minimum wage downward, the first 18 million. In effect, 18 million uh, Filipino families, their income is uh, minimum wage pababa. Isn't that correct? That is the reason for the 18 million target? Uh, yes, Madam Chair, Honorable Senator. Low-income families, beneficiaries, uh, Correct. When we talk about low-income families, we're talking about those earning minimum wage pababa. Okay, now, next point. You are now mentioning na tinanggal niya yung 4 million, okay, from the 18 million and you gave 14 million out, okay. Ano yung basis naman in determining sino yung 4 million na tatanggalin? At why bakit yung 14 million yung may iiwan? We did not remove the uh, 4 million uh, beneficiaries, but uh, the LGUs have failed to submit the complete uh, number of uh, beneficiaries that shall be included in uh, Trans 2. Like uh, for the waitlisted, they should have been submitted uh, 8.5 million, but instead they just submitted uh, 5.1 million. We have several extensions for the LDUs to comply and to look for replacement. Multiple extensions are given by the Secretary. Okay, so I would assume there are late LGUs who, who submitted and did not submit, right? So yun ang sinasabi niyong dahilan kung bakit 14 million lang ang binigay. Is that correct? Kasi iba hindi nakapag-submit. Yes, uh, Honorable Senator, that is uh, correct. Okay, my next question then was, what are we going to do with the 4 million? Don't we have a list of the 18 million families to begin with? The first tranche, may listahan tayo doon, di ba? Madam Chair, Honorable Senator, yeah. uh, uh, what happened uh, during the uh, determining the beneficiaries for the second tranche, uh, we, get, we got the list from the uh, beneficiaries of the first tranche. However, during the validation and the duplication process, we were able to found out to find out that uh, there are lots of family beneficiaries who were who received uh, more than one uh, emergency subsidy. Meaning to say that one family uh, might have received uh, emergency subsidy from uh, from Dole or DA and uh, also from the SWD. So what we did was those who are 
uh, identified as uh, double compensation, apparently we did not include them in on the second tranche. And okay, uh, okay. What, that's, that's that's clearer. That's clearer than the first answer we got earlier. Okay, so mas maliwanag yun. Okay, now, so yun ang dahilan kung bakit bibigyan yung four million now. What do you mean now that the 4 million, uh, the may savings tayo ng, how much is savings? 12 million? Uh, as, as of now, uh, Honorable Senator, uh, out of the budget provided by the DBM, we still have a remaining of uh, more or less 12, 10, 10 billion pesos. Okay. And uh, it's still uh, within uh, on our uh, on our plan and the uh, Apparently, depending on what will be the uh, instruction from the DBM, whether to return this or to realign this to other uh, project for the recovery, then uh, we have to surrender this to the DBM or return to the Bureau of Treasury, uh, Honorable Senator, Madam Chair. Okay, so there is 10 billion more in the DWD. Okay, earlier the testimony is that. Meron kayong pagbibigyan ng iba na weight wasted. Tama? And now you're telling me, or telling the committee, that it's possible you will return this to the Treasury. Okay? Uh, my next question is, kasi the reason why I'm asking this is, marami nagtatanong, halimbawa, is Batangas. Marami pang hindi nakakatanggap ng SAC. Uh, in my hometown in Lipa City to begin with, I've heard of complaints, okay, number one. Number two, in Metro Manila, many mayors are complaining that their uh, constituents have not received the second sum. Okay? Now we know, na, now we know the reason. Okay, now we have 10 billion available. Okay? It doesn't make sense to me that this money is returned to the Treasury. To me, dapat ito, itulong natin sa mga tao. Yun ang sinabi ng Bayanihan 1 eh. Okay? Na 18 million families. Now, you may, or your, your undersecretary mentioned that there are 4 million families uh, na savings. And uh, as I understood it earlier, uh, there is a list for wait, wait listed. And uh, there was a testimony earlier that the president, in a written document, told you to spend this for other things. Is that correct? Sino, so, saan natin gagastusin yung remaining 10 billion, uh, Secretary? The testimony earlier is for a livelihood program. Who are the recipients? And alimbawa, kung sakali, and or there was also testimony that uh, uh, like Cavite dadagdagan. Are there any other provinces or in Metro Manila na dapat dagdagan? I mean, where will this four, what is the basis of determining this next four million families or the remaining 10 billion? Uh, Secretary, I think you'll have to unmute yourself. Yes, thank you. Uh, Secretary, naka mute po kayo. Uh, Secret, yeah, okay, yeah, please start all over. Yes, thank you, Secretary. Uh, Madam Sir, Honorable Secretary, uh, actually, we were expecting then that out of the uh, 5 million initially submitted by the by the local government units as part of the wait listed uh, the arrangement there that they will be provided the emergency subsidy on the second tranche unfortunately out of the 5 of 5 million that were submitted by the LGU only on the numbers but on the actual uh, meaning to say that uh, we have to get the names apparently more or less more than 3.5 million were submitted so again uh, uh, apparently there is a, a lacking number for the target beneficiary the, on the part of uh, what 
if we can uh, provide emergency subsidy for another wait listed uh, uh, honorable senator uh, based on the arrangement when we plan or intend to use that uh, budget we have to seek approval from the office of the president so we are already looking into that and apparently uh, the whatever will be the utilization of that remaining budget then we have to seek the approval of the office of the president uh, honorable senator okay so uh, when you say the lgu hindi ko maintindihan eh so okay may nabawasan to 14 million so may budget pa ang dswd and uh, you ask all the lgu nationwide to submit uh, let's say 4 million or yeah, 4 million, 5 million names. Ano yung basis nun? Halimbawa, uh, kahit sino pangalan pwede lang ibigay or dapat yan yung uh, minimum wage earner pababa rin yan. Madam Chair, Honorable Senator, may ASIC Glenda be recognized? Uh... Yes, please. Uh, or selected LGUs lang ba yan? Yung halimbawa, Metro Manil, that second lockdown. Or will it be, halimbawa, Metro Manila, Region 4, because Metro Manila has what? 30, 40,000 active cases. Region 4 has 11,000 active cases. So, mas may, mas may, uh, tawag dito yung uh, lumabas. And maybe Region 3 has 5,000 active cases. Are we prioritizing areas with a lockdown for the second tranche or the remaining 10 billion? How does it work? Yes. Uh, yes, uh, Madam Chair, uh, Honorable uh, Senator Rock Recto, um, since effective na po yung Bayanihan 2 Act, there's a specific provision po doon, doon po sa F3, wherein an emergency subsidy can be given again to low-income household, to those qualified beneficiary but were not granted subsidy for, from uh, RA 11469 or the Bayanihan 2 Hilas 1 Act. And Section 11 of the Bayanihan 2 uh, source of funding that savings from 11469 uh, from Section 4 or can be funded for the Bayanihan to recover as one act. Specific provisions on Sections PP, QQ, RRSS, SSS, and TTT. So we can invoke... Okay? Ang intention niyan, first, 18 million families ang tutulungan sa Bayanihan 1. Two tranches. Okay? Hindi lang naman DSWD dito. Eh, ang SAP, DSWD, but there are other programs. Okay? Kung may savings, na-fulfill mo na yung 18 million, kung may savings pa tayo from all the, from the entire government bureaucracy, pwedeng gamitin, tulungan pa natin dagdag na pamilya. Hindi natin sinabi na magdagdag bawas. <laughs> so to speak. Okay? That's just the point I've, I've tried to raise. No? And the reason why this is a valid question because marami nagre-reklamo sa baba na hindi nila natanggap. May palakasan daw. <laughs> Narinig na natin sa LGU yan. Ngayon na naman. Dahil nabawasan eh. Pwede, parang lalong may palakasan. Something like that. <laughs> na ituturo ngayon ang DSWD. And, and remind me, let me congratulate the DSWD. Huh? You guys are doing a fine job. Okay, so very supportive of you. Okay, but billion billion pieces to pinag usapan natin. And, and we know how the law was crafted, and that's why we're asking these questions. Para masagut natin sa mga constituents, sa tatanong sa amin. Sige. So, today, your testimony is. As of today, it is not clear what you intend to do with the 10 billion. There is no final. Uh, there's no final plan at the moment because you still have to seek the approval from the office of the president. Is that correct? What to do with the remaining 10 billion? Madam Chair, uh, Honorable Senator, actually we intend to use that for part of the recovery on the livelihood assistance grant. Uh, 
apparently uh, we have already the the proposal but uh, as uh, we have mentioned earlier we have this we should be approved by the office of the president uh, madam chair honorable senator that's, that's fair yes, mr secretary yes. mr secretary I, if i may inquire uh, i think your uh, the usac uh, the uh, earlier attorney who spoke said that there's really no need in effect to go back to the op or the iatf given extraneous uh, purpose such as livelihood but definitely as a grant under um bayanihan uh, 211 section 11 q and r kasi sabi lang po niya eh. so tulad nga ng sinabi ni senator recto ba't babalik pa sa presidente as a batas naman yan na yung savings pwede naman na ibigay na para sa mga hindi nakatanggap those not granted Madam Chair, may si Glenda be recognized, Madam Chair. Okay, thanks, Secretary. Thank you, Madam Chair. Yes, tama po kayo, uh, Madam Chair, na uh, we just only need to invoke Section 11 of the RA 11494 or the Bayanihan to recover as one act and just ask for the DBM to repurpose the fund and then to submit our beds, which are specifics to... Uh, emergency subsidy program as well as the livelihood assistance grant. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Senator Recto. I yep, think yep, uh, I think I, there's really no need to go back to OP. You just apply to DBM. The funds are with you. A, B. Uh, by any hand, you explicitly states that you can use saving for for those not granted. Yeah, yeah, uh, Madam Chair. Just one final question on this uh, uh, again. No? So, uh, with your permission, uh, Madam Chair. Yes, please go ahead. Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, the secretary mentioned livelihood assistance, okay? Anong livelihood assistance program naman ang gagawin ninyo with the remaining 10B, if you do have a plan? Um, what type of livelihood? Okay, uh, Senator, may Director Resti Makuto be recognized. Uh, Senator Recto, uh, what we plan for the 10 billion, we have already uh, made our proposal for the 10 billion. We will be covering around 664,726 households for the provision of livelihood assistance grant at 15,000 uh, per individual. So, yun po aming plan. Uh, if it will be given to us to be utilized for the livelihood assistance grant. Ito po yung ating uh, tinatarget po dito, yung ating mga kababayan, na mga informal uh, vendors, uh, yung mga nasa palengke, yung mga nagtitinda ng mga gulay-gulay, uh, yung iba, mga sari-sari store. So we have already uh, oriented our uh, local government units for this particular program. So they are ready now. Uh, antay lang po kami ng pondo para we can uh, start immediately. Yun lang po, Madam Chair, uh, Senator uh, Rek. Just to follow up on that one last item. Huh? Okay. Ay, uh, paano ba yan? Hating kapatid sa lahat ng LGU? O may pipilihin lang na LGU? Uh, meron po tayong assessment na gagawin based po doon sa ating nabigyan ng uh, SAP 1. So, uh, priority po natin dito yung ating mga mga vendors na nagtitinda po. So, the local government unit will submit proposal to us. Then we will uh, assess uh, kung uh, uh, kaya ng ating mga beneficiary dito na mag-undergo into uh, livelihood. Uh, for example, uh, kailangan natin yung mga beneficiaryo na meron na silang uh, negosyo dati pero na damage uh, na, na natigil po because of the pandemic so hindi na po sila makabalik sa kanilang pagtitinda kung wala tayong additional na puhunan yun po uh, honorable uh, senator Rap, rector thank you for that uh, secretary may you submit this document and your plan to the committee so that we can review the same yeah, uh, yes uh, honorable senator we will comply yeah thank you secretary but Again, let me thank the, the resource persons for answering our questions very candidly, and we appreciate all the work that you do.
for our people and for the country no so marami salamat sa inyo no kailangan kailangan kayo ngayon no in fact dapat dagdagan pa nga ang budget niyo next year eh, dahil dapat may stop pa rin tayo sa tingin ko next year eh. dahil uh, maraming um, nawalan ng trabaho at palagay ko may mawawalan pa rin tayo eh mga OFW tayo mas marami pang uuwi ha at lalaki ang kahirapan dadami pa ang mahihirap sa ating bansa no So, uh, as I promised the chairman, I will not take too long. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, Madam Chair, and to my colleagues. Thank you very much.